I'm just a young punk rock kid that knows what's going on. An everlasting life is a free gift to all those who repent and trust in him. She has a theory that uh, we reincarnate, and uh, I don't think we go anywhere. You're about to meet Marco and Stacy, a cute couple who shares their beliefs about the afterlife. She believes in reincarnation, coming back in other life forms. He, on the other hand, is not so sure if God really exists. Watch as she reveals where she gets her beliefs from and see the power of the conscience to show them both how desperately they need a savior. So we're asking everyone, what do you think happens when somebody dies? You wanna go first or I go first? Okay, well, um, my wife and I, we talk about it all the time. Uh, she has a theory that uh, we reincarnate and uh, I don't think we go anywhere. I like to believe there's a heaven once in a while and most of the time I don't because life is really hard and really it's just us doing, you know, living here. There's nobody helping us out. So you think there's no God? I do and I don't. I do and I don't. And if we get reincarnated, what do you think you're going to come back as? Uh, maybe a little puppy? <laughs> no, I believe that people get reincarnated and they're reborn into someone else. You, the same personality, you again, but in someone else's body. Like so this could be maybe like George Washington right inside no, not, here? Not, not dog, as another human. Okay. Like, so who, who decides what people come back as? Who, who like runs the whole karma process? <laughs> Those are questions that can't be answered. Yeah. Just... But, you, but you believe in it. Um, how, how sure are you that that's what's going to happen? Oh, I'm not sure. It's just something that I, my theory. Right. Yeah, but. Okay. Um, here's another question. Would you consider yourself to be a good person? Yeah. I'm, I'm kind hearted. I, I like to do good and, uh, you know, everybody has their bad side, but uh, I think there's good in everybody. How about you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run through, run you through a little test just to see how you're doing uh, as far as being good. Okay? Have you ever heard of the Ten Commandments? Uh, yeah, but I'm not that familiar with them. Okay, that's okay. I'll help you out. How many times in your life do you estimate that you have lied? Ten, twenty, a hundred, thousands? Try to take a guess. A lot of times, but I, it was not, it wasn't good intentions to not hurt somebody's feelings or um, just because I, I thought I had to. And, and how many times do you think you've lied in your whole life? Too many. Too many? Too many. Okay, what, what, do, you, what do you call someone who tells lies? A liar. <laughs> okay, have you ever stolen anything in your whole life? Yeah, once. Okay, what, what do you call someone who steals? A thief. All right, here's, here's one more. Um, have you ever taken God's name in vain? Yeah. 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 Okay. And, and that's kind of serious. It's called blasphemy, is right? It's taking the name of the God who gave us life and using it as a four letter curse word. It's certainly disrespecting the God who gave us life, right? I wouldn't do that with my mom. You probably wouldn't want to do that with your mom, but the one who gave us our mother, God, gets kind of walked on and treated lower than the dirt that we stand on a lot of the time. Okay, here's the last one. Uh, Jesus said, whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. That God sees our th secret thought life. He knows what we're thinking because he made us. And so he says, if you look with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. So do you think that you've ever violated that commandment, had lustful, lustful thoughts? Yeah. 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 When I was single, yeah. Okay, so check this out. By your own admission, you're a lying thief and a blasphemous adulterer at heart, and you've got to face God on Judgment Day. That's how God sees you. So if God judges you by that standard, do you think you'd be innocent or guilty? Guilty. 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 So does that mean that if God gives you justice, you'd go to heaven or hell? Uh, if he treats you according to your sins, yeah, I think I would. I would go to hell. Does that concern you? Yeah, it does. So what do you think you can do about it? Because you could die today, right? Yeah. You could get hit by... Moment. At any moment. What are you going to do? Ask him to forgive me. I mean, that's all I can do. I mean, uh, you say he knows our thoughts and everything. Uh, there's reasons why people do things sometimes. Maybe they don't do them on purpose. or. They, I mean, no. well, here, here's what you're doing right now. There are some times that, that we do things 
uh, that we shouldn't do, and we try to justify ourselves. We say, well, there's a good reason why I did it. And that's like, imagine a, ju a judge having a criminal say to him, I know I killed that lady, but there's a good reason why I did it. And you go, is that going to fly? I don't think killing somebody, you can, I don't think anybody should be forgiven for killing anybody. Okay, and God is just. He is not going to accept our justification for our sins, saying, oh, there's a good reason why I lied and why I stole and why I committed adultery and why I committed blasphemy. God says that all liars have their part in the lake of fire and that God hates deceitful lips, that all thieves and blasphemers will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So if God gives you justice and he gives you justice, you'll wind up in hell for eternity. And I don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen. No, we don't. And God made a way for you to be forgiven of your sin and demonstrate how much he loves you. Do you know what God did for you? He was crucified. He was crucified. God sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross. God became a man. He lived a perfect life. And then he died on the cross to take the punishment for the sins that you've committed against God. That's what the Bible means when it says God made him who never sinned to become sin for us. Jesus became sin and God punished Jesus on the cross in your place so that you could go free when your court case comes up. It's like this, you broke God's law and Jesus paid your fine with his own blood to show you how much God loves you. And he'll bring you into a, a right relationship with him because he rose from the dead. And if you will turn from your sins, that means repent, turn the other direction and head toward God and trust in Jesus with all your heart to save you, God will forgive you and make you a new person on the inside and grant you eternal life. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So when are you gonna get right with God? We try every night. We have a daughter, so. Yeah, so things are really different. Things are completely different from before. Yeah, so maybe God put us here to have this conversation so that you could see your sin. You could listen to your own conscience and you'd say, God, forgive me, I'm a sinner. And put your trust in the one he sent to save you, and that's Jesus Christ. Do you have a Bible? Yeah, uh, yes, I do. Okay, read your Bible. That's God's word. And there's power and strength in the Bible to change your heart and to make you grow in your faith. So do that tonight before you go to sleep because you never know if you're going to have tomorrow. You're Thanks. Right. You're absolutely right. Learn how to share your faith biblically. Each week, we send out a free ministry update and it contains a short video clip. Ray finds colorful characters, he witnesses to them, and then I chalk talk the clip. Here's some samples. Do you believe in God? Of course. I believe God actually learns through us. That, there's a heaven right here. Multiple times a day, God hugs me. What planet are you living on? I have no problem standing before the Lord as I am. After seeing new clips each week and understanding the biblical principles behind them, you will end up saying, I could do that. There's no charge for the update. Just go here and sign up here and we'll send it to you every week. For God so loved the world that He gave His only forgotten Son. Also, while you're there, check out the School of Biblical Evangelism. The School of Biblical Evangelism is a full-blown online evangelism course. It'll help you overcome your fears. It'll help give you the answers to the hundred most commonly asked questions and objections to the Christian faith. <laughs>